This series of videos is about the digestive system. In its simplest form, the digestive system is a tube that starts at the mouth and ends at the anus with various accessory organs. In the mouth, we have the oral cavity, and then we have some accessory organs, the teeth, the tongue, and the salivary glands. From the oral cavity, food travels down through the pharynx and then to the esophagus. If we remove some of these structures, we'll be able to get a better view of the esophagus. Here we can see the esophagus as it passes through the thoracic cavity. Within the abdominopelvic cavity, we have some accessory organs. We have the liver here. Now if we get rid of the liver, we can get a better view of the stomach. We can see the esophagus as it passes through the diaphragm and enters the stomach. From the stomach, food then travels through the pyloric sphincter to enter the duodenum, which is the first part of the small intestine. Now we'll remove the stomach. Here we can also see another accessory organ, the pancreas, and we can get a better view of the du duodenum. The duodenum is retroperitoneal, which means it's outside of the peritoneum, and it loops around, and it comes back in as the duodenum. Here we can see the duodenum, and it goes along, and at some point, it becomes the last part of the small intestine, which is the ileum. The ileum enters the first part of the large intestine through the ileocecal valve. Now, if we remove the small intestine, we can get a better view of the large intestine. Now we can see the ileum entering the first part of the small and in large intestine, which is the cecum. Then we have the ascending colon, the right colic flexor, the transverse colon, the left colic flexor, the descending colon, then we have an S shape, which is the sigmoid colon, then the rectum and out the anus.